Hi, it's Vicki with Condi Systems Technical Support, and in this video is a demonstration of how to make an image adjustment using a bitmap image from a camera or uh, your images, your bitmap images, by opening up in Corel. This is Corel X6 and making adjustments, meaning uh, when you have an image and maybe it's too dark or maybe you want to enhance it a little bit using. Um, your, your balance tools with hues, saturations, mid-tones through your image adjustment feature in Corel. Um, what is important that I want to show you in this video is how to select and make those adjustments by choosing what is considered to be the lightest point of the image and the darkest point of the image and then making the adjustments with those values being known. So that will better calibrate or uh, maybe not calibrate but adjust or tweak the image with those known values of light and dark versus what uh, what would be unknown if you select a part in the image that is that is the lightest part and then select the part of the image that is the darkest part and then when you make those adjustments uh, it takes those values in consideration which overall will make an adjustment to the image uh, to better suit the image with those known values. Hopefully that makes sense. So basically you're choosing the light part of the image, the dark part of the image, and then you're tweaking your image with those known values versus uh, an unknown value of what's white and black in the image. So let's get started. Open up an image. I have one selected with Corel. This is Corel X6 and uh, how you go about adjusting image adjustments would be the same in earlier versions of Corel as well. So you're going to click on File and with all Corel you import and then you choose the image you want to make adjustments to and then once you've highlighted it you left click on Import and now we can just snap that image in there by just left clicking and dropping it. Now what I have here is the original file and let's say I'm going to print this file but first I want to tweak it in as best I can so I can when it prints out it gives me the best output possible. Um, maybe it's user preference, maybe it's something um, that would just you know maybe it's too bright or it's too dark of an image and, and we can use these this image adjustment feature in Corel to make this picture um, you know more vibrant or, or a better display when you print it out and sublimate it. Okay, so at this point, once you have the image in here, you can um, you can crop it, do whatever you want using your crop tools. If you want to make it smaller or larger, based on what you're going to sublimate it to, and that's up to you. I'm not going to do any cropping, but I do want to mention that uh, you know, with anything before you um, transfer it, you you have to consider what you're going to be transferring it to, and you need to consider um, how it's going if it's a if it's glass if it has a white background those kind of things keep in mind because you know with glass uh, see-through type things you, you know you got to consider that it's not going on a white background so you'd want something a little more vibrant possibly but anyway moving on um, the point of this video is to show you how to make those adjustments using your light and dark values and then adjusting uh, or tweaking your image with your with your image adjustment features and I'm going to get to that right now. So let's go over here and choose our pick tool and with our pick tool selected uh, we're going to just click on the image and then we're going to go up here to bitmap and we're going to left click on image adjustment lab okay and that opens up the dialog box where we're going to be working from and I'm going to try to prop it up here side by side with the original image as best I can now um, what we want to do now with this image open is we want to first off is choose what we consider to be the lightest point of the image by select a white point so as I hover over this little eyedropper here and I see this little white dot I can click on that left click and now I have my little eyedropper where I can just move it around in the image and determine by the uh, values in here what is considered to be the widest part of the image. 
and I'm going to go ahead and say that this t-shirt is probably maybe maybe not the lightest part of the image and it could be right in here I'm going to go to I'm going to say it's in his hair. You can see the values um, as I'm moving along of how they change uh, the RGB values. That looks actually a little more purple, but we're going to go with the lightest part of the image because we want to choose what is the lightest part. So when we make adjustment adjustments to the image, it takes that in consideration to all the other colors within the image, and it just kind of... Um, you know, tweaks it in with all those other values or color values uh, incorporated. So let's go ahead and select that as our lightest point. And now let's go over here and ho hover over the, the select black point. We're going to left click on that. And now we're going to find something in here that's probably the darkest part of the image. And that could be within the sweater are the scarf. So we're just going to select something in the scarf. It looks darker. Uh, and then select that as being the darkest point. Okay. So with that done, let's go ahead and create a snapshot of what our original is here. So that adds a snapshot we can always go back to. And with every change, we can, we can create another snapshot and it'll just line them up down here and then we can choose what's better what's not better so we've selected a light point we've selected the dark point and so now we can start tweaking um, let's say we want to move highlights just to see what happens and as you're tweaking you can see things changing in the image see how dramatically that changes okay so we know that we want to select something that's uh, more pleasant to the eye. So we'll just start tweaking this image with the shadows. And again, um, it's you're going to spend more time probably with your image than I will here, but um, this is for demonstration purposes. And you can start looking at the changes that are taking place as I'm moving these midtones and shadows. Um, once you get a point where you think that, that the image might look better, you can go ahead and create another snapshot. And now what we can do is go from one image to the next and see how it's a little brighter here, a little darker here. So if we don't like something, we just X off, start all over, or we can reset to original. But with every change that we think looks better, once we get to a point where we think we've, we've tweaked it in, we can create another snapshot. And now we have two snapshots to compare it to. And uh, if we want to go back to the original, start over, and we can slide the bar. We can actually enter the value, let's say 12, and then tab down. Uh, let's say we want to go up on the shadows, make it a little lighter. We can do that, say none, and we can move our midtones as well. This is your saturation. All these can be moved. Typically, the temperature is a little too dramatic for me. I usually stay within the white area. Um, you have your saturation levels, which take some of the color out. So these are the things that you can do uh, with your image to tweak it in once you set what is considered to be the white or the lightest value within the image and then the darker value within the image. Once you've, once you've gotten something that, that you like better or enhances the picture to your preference, you would select on it and then click, to, click OK. And then that will incorporate all the changes that changes that you have made through image adjustment features in Corel. If you have any questions on how to do this, feel free to give us a call at Condi and look to Condi TV for other videos that show how to make adjustments, spot color, anything that would be important to you and your sublimation business. My name is Vicki with Condi Systems. Thank you.